What's up guys, welcome to part 2 of this mono black discard list. Uh, so far, if you didn't check out video 1, please make sure to do so. We are 2 and 1 uh, with this deck so far. And man, does it have some awesome plays. We are really, really enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are. Uh, and we talked a lot in the last episode uh, about just a lot of things coming down the pipeline. A lot of things to get excited about. So I hope that you guys are all looking forward to it all. There is so much going on. It's awesome. This is a really cool time uh, in the It Resolves channel history, uh, and I, I couldn't be more excited about it. So uh, definitely check out that video one. Check out the deck list and see what you think. Three more games coming at you, and then, of course, we will summarize the deck at the very end. So uh, don't forget as well to enter the Double Masters giveaway. Uh, you can do that uh, through August 10th. Monday, August 10th is going to be the winner. Uh, announcement if you would like to enter that's a great uh, great way to get your hands on some very easy very free uh, draft packs of uh, let's see what they do sweet <laughs> uh, let's just do this let's make sure we get rid of that when we can that's a problem card for sure we didn't have to do it I guess at the end step though that was kind of dumb we should have waited but that's fine uh, what do we do? Let's see. Double Witch's Oven. Okay. Ooh. Um, alright, I'm gonna slow roll this a bit. I'm gonna get a card out of their hand. Um, I think that that's pretty important right now. What did they get rid of? Just a mountain. That's fine. Uh, next turn, obviously, we're in a position where we have to pick one of these two. Um, so we'll figure out what they're going to do first. I rushed that disfigure. That was a bit of a mistake. Um, but I think we would have ended up playing it pretty quickly anyway. Sure, that's fine. They get to attack for one and then sacrifice it, which isn't... If this is the best play they could do, then that's really not that amazing. Um, what we do need to be careful of is claim the firstborn with a rotting Regisaur is pretty potent. Um, so that's going to be a bit scary. Let's do this, and let's just keep the damage train going with this guy. Let's just see what happens. Um, they could very easily have quite a lot of things to deal with this, but... Uh, this will obviously bait any claim the Firstborns that they've got, because this is a pretty strong creature. Um, and then hopefully give us Rotting Regisaur power later on. Sure. Uh, let's do this. Is this just it can't attack? At the beginning of your end step, create a, uh, can't attack unless you control four or more. Okay. Um, well, let's attack in. I'm fine with that. If they want to trade off, they can trade off. They can make the block and then sack it uh, if they want to get a... No, they don't. That would make a lot of sense. All right, let's do this. All right, let's see what they want to do. Um... Hopefully they don't have a claim. Claim is just way too good. They should have also sacked their Fabled Passage probably, but that's fine. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but that's not super helpful for them, given that we've got a Rotting Regisaur. So like, I don't super care about that. We also have a way to give it flying, which is like really good. <laughs> so yeah. We have to discard our swamp, obviously. That's not the end of the world. Disfigure. I kind of think we just do this. We do have to pay a little bit of life here, but... I think it's worth it. I don't really want to go long against this deck. Because um, eventually they just start getting things to sacrifice, and then we lose... Once they get their cycle going, we're in bad shape. Uh, let's get this back into our hand. We're going to have to discard it, but... You know, why not? We got nothing left to do. Um, if we did have one more land, we could have played it out. That would have been helpful. But not a big deal. Okay. They hit us for one. If that's all they're doing, then I think we're okay. Maybe not. Ah, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. That doesn't really solve their problem. Um, they, we have a flyer. <laughs> uh, Demonic Embrace, man. Such a cool card. Yep, discard Gutter Bones. That's fine. 
Burglar Rat. Well, don't really need you. Uh, let's just attack. They can gain three, uh, but they lose ten. So I think that's a win. Heck yeah. I like this deck a lot. Oh. Wait a second. Wait, what? Did I miss something there? I probably did. That was just a mistake, I'm sure. Deals two damage. Oh. No? What am I missing? Okay, when it deals, when it deals damage, yeah, it dealt two. Oh, did it, it had death touch. Oh, I'm dumb. I am dumb. That's fine. I was very confused as to why it died. Of course it has death touch. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Well, that's fine. We forced him to do it. So that makes sense. Whew, man, took me a second. Sorry, guys. It's been a while since I've played with that card. Uh, what is it? Call of the of the Death Dweller. It's a very good card, but not one that I usually play with. Obviously, we can't block this as mana. Okay. Yeah, dude. Get in there. That's pretty good. Sure. Uh, do we Burglar Rat here just to get rid of this one card? I'm actually kind of suspicious of this card. <laughs> Maybe that's incorrect, but I'm going to do this. We're going to make him play it first. Um, ideally, we can get one damage in and then get Gutter Bones back as well. Got three lands left. But we're kind of forcing them into a play here. It was either that or play Demonic Embrace and just get in. Didn't love that play. Oh, okay. Now they have to discard. No, oh, that's fine. All right. Get Gutter Bones. Play it. All right. Well, now we've got spread out threats at the very least. Uh, no idea what they drew, so we are in, you know, a difficult place here, but uh, maybe not. All right, we got there. Um, Demonic Embrace then would have been a decent play either way, but um, I think that we were right to get that card out of their hand. My mistake on the call of the uh, Death Dweller there, that was 100% just didn't even see that, but that's fine. Let's move to game two. Whew, that was a grindy game. This is a very grindy deck, which I like. I think it's kind of fun, but... <sighs> Tasty water. I'm trying to drink a full water bottle every day. Um, my fiancé and I have tasked ourselves with that goal. Um, it worked the last couple days, which is good, but holy crap, does it take a long time to drink all that water. Um, this isn't an amazing hand. It's kind of an awkward one with, like, Disfigure and Burglar Rat. I mean, Burglar Rat's fine. Kind of wish we had a different one drop and then like a three, but ah, we'll try it. Uh, we do get to disfigure. If they're a creature deck, obviously, we just get to free disfigure whatever they first put out. So that's kind of nice. Looks like they are. Sacrifice again. So many sacrifice decks. I know that a lot of sacrifice is being played tournament-wise right now, so I guess it makes sense. But Burglar Rat should be kind of interesting here. Um... The only downside to this is that obviously they get to, in response to the disfigure, get rid of something. Um, but, you know, worse things could happen. Tamarat's interesting, but let's let's lean on the Burglar Rat just to get a card out of hand here. Again, devaluing their resources is very much the key. Um, Tamarat's going to be very good, but I'd much rather not run into a, uh, a uh, kill spell or um, a claim the firstborn. Obviously, we were just against that, so I don't want to do that again. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine. Put this out there. Let's go ahead and do this and just force them to uh, get rid of it. They didn't get rid of it. That was potentially a mistake. Uh, okay. Considering they're playing this card at all, though, I wonder if this deck is kind of a bit of a budget or jank list. Um, also, don't love the temples in a deck like this, but yeah, that's fine. Um, they can claim this and sack it. They can do a lot. 
Yep, there it is. 100% figured that would be showing up. Um, land would be amazing. Land would be really good right now. Because uh, then we can either get out Rankle or uh, Lily. Oof, didn't get there. That's fine. Let's do this. Don't want to play the Regisaur out because we've got really just a phenomenal hand. Um, and so uh, throwing this out here just means we have to discard all of it, which I don't like. Um, so I'd much rather just get in there for a good bit of damage. I think that's the best play. A land means we get, I think, probably Lily out. Um, but it depends on what they play, obviously. Okay. No, that's not. That's fine. Um, this card's annoying, but it's not, like, amazing. Ah. Okay, well, I'm actually perfectly fine with that. Oh, even better. Uh, actually, let's Lily. Let's make him discard. Uh, we'll discard the Embrace here. Rankle, I guess, would have been better. I... I always forget that this is both players. Um, okay. We can deal with that. Just go ahead and get rid of it. They can obviously sack in response, which they should. But, okay. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and rankle. A lot of the reason I want to play Rankle is, one, it's just a really good card. I'm actually not going to do any of these. One, it's just a really good card. But two, um, I I think that uh, getting this out means that, like, a Claim the Firstborn is much less good um, because it can't just straight kill Lily, um, whereas some of the uh, other cards obviously can. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the card in hand. And I think at this point we're in decent shape here. Uh, mountain. Okay. Let's get this out there. Let's make them lose three. And this is exactly where this deck wants to get. Uh, and this is why it, it's it's a grind to get there sometimes, but um, I'm just not going to do anything. Uh, but this is exactly where the deck needs to be, where you know we've got a discard engine going uh, on their end with the Liliana, uh, as well as the Rankle. And there we go. Perfect. It's a nice little lock out there. So that felt good. Um, Cool. Well, let's jump into our next one. Uh, this is our last game, if I'm not mistaken, and we're doing pretty well with this deck so far, guys. I, I like this. Um, oh, we got a card. Oh, how lovely. Great. Um, all right, let's move into it. Last game with this deck, uh, and then, of course, we'll summarize our thoughts, uh, some of which I'm sure you can already kind of hint at, but um, I really hope you guys are enjoying these gameplay videos. We're trying to get them out for you guys pretty regularly. Um, I know uh, I, I mentioned I was on vacation not too long ago, and so I, I was not available to do some gameplay this past weekend, but that's fine. Uh, I think we'll lean on the Fin Lurker here. Hopefully draw a land into another land, or just a nice like land into three drop. Um, something along those lines would be very nice here. Interesting. Ginger Brute decks are very good. Um, okay, land. That's a good start. Let's go ahead and get the, the Fin Lurker down. Again, just trying to get cards out of hand. Every card we get out of hand makes every other card that we get a card, or that we have a discard effect on, just that much better. Uh, because now, instead of getting the you know sixth card in hand, we're going to get the fifth card in hand, or whatever. Um, and so that just means that like every time we get down to it, they're, they're really, really going to be in the top deck position a lot quicker, and that's the goal. Uh, I didn't actually see it was Ginger Brute. Okay. That's fine. Um, if they attack in and don't make this unblockable, we would definitely just trade. <laughs> um, I think. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay. They're not going to attack in. Uh, we can Demonic Embrace this. It gives it... Uh, or the, uh, the Serpent has Reach, though, so that's not really amazing. I think we're just going to do this and see what happens. Let's 
a really interesting deck. I don't know if this is a good deck, though. Uh, it's definitely kind of a... It's interesting, we'll just say. All right, so we can Lily and discard a card from each person's hand, or we can Rankle. I think I actually like Rankling here a lot better. Uh, let's attack here. They can block it with the Serpent if they would like, um, but that just kind of does exactly what we want it to do anyway. Um, and if they don't, we get to sack, make him sack a creature, which we will obviously as well. And then we can probably just make everybody discard a card as well. Um, let's do that. We're going to discard the Demonic Embrace. I kind of like having a backup Lily here um, in this position. Uh, we'll sacrifice the, the Fin Lurker, obviously. I think that's fair. They just discarded a plane, so that's fine. They are very much considering what to do. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Uh, this also gets us up to two cards in Graveyard for Lily, so we can start just kind of pegging these things, uh, which is pretty good on its own. Uh, we can also eat stuff in their graveyard with Tamaret. Even our own graveyard if we'd like, but don't really need to. That's quite good. Problematically good. Hmm. So if we do that, let's see. Or is it better to Demonic Embrace this, get it up to a 6-4, and then attack in? That could also be quite good. I don't like that play better. We'll discard a land here. They can block with their 6-6, six, six, and that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, that just means they don't have a giant 6-6 six, six now, so... Sure. And yes, this is obviously a bit of a two-for-one for us, but um, it kind of helps us in the long run because now we just have more cards in the graveyard. Ooh, that's nice. Mystic Forge. I love Mystic Forge. This is a sweet, sweet little deck. I don't know what the heck it's trying to do exactly, but <laughs> it's really cool. They could attack. I, I guess they just don't want to, um, but they definitely could have. Let's do this. We'll get rid of the Stone Coil Serpent here. Or should we get rid of the Mirror? Is going to end on my I actually think we get rid of the Mirror. Uh, the thing about the Stone Coil Serpent is it's obviously a very good card. I'm going to play a land out here as well. Uh, it's obviously a very good card, but this one is only a 2-2. Um, and therefore, it's not doing a ton. The discard factor that we've got going on is a little bit impeded by this Mystic Forge, which I really don't like. Um, but this is a way that, you know, we can eventually kind of deal with everything here. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I just don't know, guys. I have no idea. Also, we are slowly, thanks to this giveaway, we're slowly making our way to our uh, 4,000 subscriber mark. We're also almost at 1,000 uploads. Excuse me, which is kind of crazy. Um, we're getting close, guys. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Let's do this. Let's make them sack a thing. And they have to discard a card because we have Lily. That seems pretty good. They can put a counter on this. Or no, they can't, I guess, can they? Curious to see. Ooh, they had to discard an Ugin. Wow, okay. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, let's... Let's not attack. All right. Don't like that we're not really doing a ton against them yet, but and they've got like Karn's Bastion, so they can just start proliferating here, uh, which is pretty useful. Uh, they also just have Bonder's Enclave, so they've got a lot of like engine stuff going on, uh, which is really cool. But let's go ahead and eat. Let's eat Ugin. Oh crap! <laughs> Why did I pick one? Why do I suck? I've been doing that every time, haven't I? That's a mistake. It's 100% a mistake. Well, that's fine. Could have gained another life, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Ugh. 
Silly, silly me. I thought it was a one for one thing. That was just kind of dumb on my end. Uh, let's see. I mean, do this, make them sack a, or uh, remove a card from their hand, which they can't, so they lose three. I really don't care Let's eat some that. stuff <laughs> because, again, I'm dumb and didn't do this already. Gain two life. Um, the question is, do we attack? They can kill Lily if they... Uh, I think no. Next turn, maybe yes, but um, I don't feel comfortable doing it quite yet. Eventually, I mean, they've got good stuff in their deck. They've got a heck of a lot of good stuff. So we do have to be very cautious of that. I mean, if they've got just like an Ugin on top, that feels terrible. But we'll see. I have not played this deck perfectly, so I do apologize. But we are still doing pretty pretty well for ourselves here. Cool. Burglar rat. That actually helps tremendously. In a really silly way. Whoops. Well, I okay. go. Well, that's fine. Alright. I should have played the burglar rat first. I'm dumb. I've been misplaying like crazy, guys. That's the takeaway. This attack might even not be correct, but that's fine. Yeah, dude, proliferate. Whoops, remove stop. That's totally fine by me. I don't really care. Mm hmm. Kind of surprised they blocked, actually. I'm just going to eat the rest of their graveyard. Uh, I thought they might just try and kill Lily next turn. Uh, I mean, whatever works, though. Yeah, I have misplayed a lot. 100% my mistakes, but uh, we're doing okay here, I think. Uh, I'm just very scared of a like super, super good top deck. I mean, if they've got like the Spirit Dragon, for instance, version of Ugin, that's amazing. Even just Ugin the Ineffable is very good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they do have to have a land, I guess, to get uh, the Spirit Dragon. Um, and they also have to sandbag a land, uh, or sandbag something in their hand because of Lily. Um, if they can't, then they just kind of lose immediately, which is really nice. This technically works. Ooh, they did have a spirit dragon. This makes them lose three. And then we attack for five. That works, technically, right? Wow. All the misplays, and we still got there. All right. So, uh, summary of the deck. Uh, first of all, it helps to play it correctly, which I did not. Um, all that to say, though, uh, this was a really fun list. Like, really fun. Uh, this is one that I just pulled uh, off of Aetherhub. Uh, which is generally where we pull a lot of our decks. Uh, I do know that we've gotten a lot of submissions in as well, uh, and so those will be coming down the pipeline. We did play one yesterday that was a submission from Raptor, but uh, please uh, submit some decks to us. This deck is very good, in my opinion, because it devalues whatever the opponent's doing a lot of the time very, very well. Um, it also has the built-in kind of exile mechanic with Tamaret, so that way uh, if you do get into a position where you're against like a reanimator deck or like even the sacrifice decks with the Call of the Death Dweller, it can eat those cards and then all of a sudden it devalues that spell as well. <clears throat> um, I'm an advocate for decks that tend to just devalue whatever the opponent does or just outvalue whatever they do, uh, which is why Jund in general is a good favorite of mine, but... Uh, this is just a really sweet way to do it. Uh, and it mixes in a lot of those aggro elements because it just has, now it's not focused on it, but it does have things like the Rotting Regisaur, the Wrangles, the stuff like that that are, that are in there and dealing a lot of damage very quickly, along with, of course, Demonic Embrace. So I like this deck a lot. I think it's very, very good. A little bit grindy. Uh, so, you know, prepare yourself if you are going to test it out. It's going to be a bit of a grind sometimes, but... 
uh, if you play it right. Um, and uh, if if you know what you're doing with the deck, I think it can be very, very good. So definitely recommend it. I hope you guys will check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to enter our giveaway uh, for the Double Masters Draft Pack. Uh, and of course, check out the JDC and all, of the, the, uh, all the other gameplay and things like that that we've got going on right now. Really a lot of stuff to get excited about. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.